If you enjoy the Ranveer show, this is the channel for you. You don't have to consume every single podcast, but you have to binge watch all the clips on this channel. It's TRS Clips. You mentioned a very uh, cool story about Tulsi Das meeting Hanuman ji. Hmm. Do you think that that's where the Hanuman Chalisa was created? No, I think the Hanuman Chalisa came in later on, but definitely Tulsi Das ji had full blessings of Lord Hanuman or because of that blessings he was able to produce such a superlative ramcharitmanas that's the amazing text uh, but it was definitely the blessings of lord hanuman was there okay mm-hmm. um why do you think the hanuman chalisa has this anti ghost power uh that's because of this answer will again deviate from the central theme of your uh, no, our discussion that's what it's about yeah mm-hmm. so certain deities are there in dharma uh, who have two specific propensities they're excellent as protected deities hanuman lord hanuman is one of them uh, bhairava is another certain deities are there number one number two they respond faster certain deities are closer to the earth plane than they respond faster hanuman ji is one who is an immortal who's never given up his body so he's here in this plane so he will respond to your to your please faster than others specifically on certain areas now if you ask hanuman ji i want to become the richest man on earth you may not get that because his domain is strength power protection all these things instant you'll get that if your devotion is correct okay same for lord bhairava also he is he also protects very fast on the other hand if you have to call lord shiva the shiva swarupa mahadev he is in his samadhi he will take you 9 10 lifetimes of calling before he responds he will be aware that you are calling but he may not be bothered to answer so easily wow that is precisely the power of hanuman chalisa it's a wonderful thing There's so many sadhanas that can practices that can be done just with the Hanuman Chalisa. Really, let's talk. Uh, endless things. Let's can talk be about done. this because there is a lot of young Indians who are very into the Hanuman Chalisa, including myself, including Sanjit. Like S- superb thing. Superb means superb thing. In fact, in uh, in in uh, I'm talking from the uh, uh, from the tantric perspective also. So Hanuman Ji is considered uh, Lord Hanuman is considered in the tantric perspective is also. considered as one of the protectors okay means the veeras there are 52 veeras okay veer means there are powerful entities who protect an area any area it can be and there are these veeras are modeled around the primary devatas so there is hanuman veer uh, in the nath panthi sampraday their worship is very popular uh, there is narsing veer who is basically on uh, lord narsimha which is the vishnu avatar etc so uh, you invoke their blessings uh, whether it's a disease related negative entity whether there's a spirit related negative entity whether there's something else if you keep doing hanuman chalisa with faith properly and there are sadhanas means suppose uh, suppose you want to you know just for 40 days somebody decides that i want to do hanuman chalisa upasana so you every day you sit and do at least 51 54 times or 100 times hanuman chalisa it will take you one two hours but if you're fluent it will be very fast you do this you maintain certain basic rules celibacy is one of them required for getting a higher experience of lord hanuman because he was the akhanda brahmachari okay and you uh, offer some naivedh them some bhog some laddu something to hanuman ji put some diya etc etc and after you finish your uh, hanuman chalisa recital say 54 times or 108 times calmly sit down and meditate on the name of lord rama do this for 40 days you will have a transforming experience what do you mean calmly meditate on Lord Rama, do you just say Rama, Rama? Just Rama. that name. Power of the name is superlative. He is uh, Hanuman Ji remains in this plane because he promised that as long as there is a name of Rama here, he will be here. Mm. Okay. And he is one of the best protected deities. His the reason why he is so popular and he responds so fast, in my opinion, as I said, I have seen people who are more devotees of Lord Hanuman than even of Lord Rama. Okay. do uh, hanuman is considered as a bhakt of uh, rama uh, precisely because he remains in the physical plane he has chosen not to leave this plane and go and that is why he is very fast he if he if he is pleased with your devotion if he is pleased with your call and you are in trouble some of the blessings and the beauty of it is that they are gods so they don't have to physically come to you from wherever he may be he can still get you protection just one blessing from you and you'll be protected mm. it's like a, an armor I'm absolutely okay. Protection from pretas and pishachas. Um, uh, yeah. The, so I had a very deep-seated fear of the dark when I was growing up. 
and that's a big reason i was drawn even more to the hanuman chalisa mm. especially bhoot <laughs> peshaj nikat nahi aave <laughs> maavi jab naam suna <laughs> when i would say that i would you know i have i mean obviously i've learned the hanuman chalisa over the course of my life but i began by reading it out of a book mm. and when it was that line i would touch the <laughs> book to my head saying <laughs> be with me probably mm-hmm. because i was always drawn to these topics mm. uh mm. throughout my life and they also say that when you speak about these topics mm. you're actually inviting those energies near yeah. you so what we're doing here mm. and maybe even the listeners listening mm. they are kind of creating a sort of frequency that makes them one step closer right. to negative entities right. my outlook on this is one go in with faith in god mm. uh and two uh when you have knowledge about darkness it brings you closer to the light that's what i believe so yes. and the other thing is that in my opinion generally uh, so it is one thing to be aware that there is a presence of this hierarchy of negative entities there because after uh, so as i was saying preta is one of the most diffi- one of the more angry type of things beyond that there are other pishachas and all that those are very dangerous very very dangerous if you enjoyed this video just know that this entire channel is full of playlists that will take you down different pathways of learning all sorts of subjects all sorts of genres all sorts of guests but the one commonality lots of knowledge enjoy trs clips